Oh my. Oh. You're looking hench there, you know. <laughs> so what's up everyone? Today we're gonna be taking my engine from here and to the end stand here. Be professional, I wanna be the best cameraman you can ever find. You already are bro. Let's write a script. Okay, right. Um I think we need to take out the engine load leveler. Uh, we need to remove the flywheel from the engine and then we need to connect up the plate for the back of the engine and then put it up, jack it all up and everything like that and get it up on there. Cool. Go ahead and finish. So yeah, the gimbal's about £150 brand new. It's too much. I know it is. I'm not buying it. But I got it for like 60 quid off Facebook Marketplace. So right now, are you filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm a good director and filmer. I am taking out the engine load leveler because... What does the engine load leveler do? Basically what it does is, is when you're lifting up the engine using the engine hoist, which is right next to us here. Engine hoist right here, five tons. Right there, right there, yeah. Five tons. It's one ton. Um, oh, does it? Oh. Five tons. Wow, I didn't even see that sticker before. Um, but as you're lifting it up, the engine can be unbalanced because obviously it depends on where you're lifting it from and everything like that. So this, basically, you can tilt the engine whichever way you need it to be tilted to make sure everything is secure. Oh yes. It's funny, you know, because if if they told us to buy this from the minute go, I would have bought this and not bought like that purple one and the extra little bits and pieces. But now that I've used them, I can't take them back. Oh. Come on, Chacha. -cha. Oh. What's what are you doing? I can't. Oh, you can. Oh wow. Oh, it's a BMW as well. M3. Yo, is it an M3 GTM? Yo. Yeah, We're doing? I'm um, setting up the engine load leveler. It's um, quite tedious. Should have kept my gloves off to be honest. You're, you're right. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm yeah. good, man. How are you? Yeah, you're I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I just, I, I felt like my, my personal space was getting a bit invaded then. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like the 4K quality. Well, might... you don't have any rights in this country. <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> Brexit. I've got to edit that out, bro. <laughs> um, um, I'm speaking to. Yeah, bro. You're right, man. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm doing this right. We'll find out if the engine drops or not. That's a very good point, actually. I will definitely find out at that point. Um, if that does happen, then I know who to blame for for everything in well, my life. Well, okay. Yeah. Yourself. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. Wow. What do you think happened? I, I don't know. I got a bit excited. I heard something happening. <laughs> oh, my. So, to me. You've been screwed. Now I've got the engine balancer on. It's basically connected there, one to the back. Uh, I'm going to start jacking it all up now. There you go, started to uh, pick the engine out. That's the engine up in the air. And to show you guys how the balancer works, I think if you start rotating this basically, you can start leveling out how the engine sits. Right, do you want to back up a little bit? So then I'm going to push it basically. Where are you going to push it? Behind you. Oh, okay. 
So, and Jen is now moved. Move all of this out of the way. I'm gonna move a bit more because basically our driveway, I mean our garage, is a little bit slanted over there. We do. I'm now lowering this because I need to remove the flywheel. Oh. That was a lot harder than I thought it would drop then. <laughs> but everything's okay. Good news. So now I gotta go and remove the flywheel. And um, I'm running. And it was a rainy day. Um, it was at, I think it was Silverstone or Dunnington Raceway. And I ran onto the grass, like down the stairs. I ran onto the grass right next to the track. And then all you see is my... <laughs> all you see in the video is... <laughs> And then I'm just looking at the sky because I just slipped on the floor and I just literally just landed on my back. It's good times, man. Good times. So everyone, right now, Ishan's actually left. Ah, messing this all up already without him. You see, I needed him. Where did, why did he leave me for? And I'm going to basically be working on removing the flywheel. So just got to basically remove that so I can get a clean slate on the actual engine block to be able to connect to the engine stand, which is uh, right behind me there. It's an interesting day, actually, because I'm going to be doing my vlog series for, well, not a vlog series. I'm going to be doing my little documentary on how to for doing the engine swap. So it's kind of weird. I want to be jumping between doing the vlog for you guys as well as prepping for that video in the future as well so yeah let's go remove the flywheel so from here i'm gonna be looking at removing the flywheel which is held on by 19 millimeter bolts now, this is a, a big impact wrench kind of electric thing um got this a while ago my brother actually got it um, to remove the subframe from this R33, so I'm hoping this will be powerful enough to loosen this up. That's one. Pop this one back in to kind of take the tension away from the others that are in. These are in real tight. Actually, gonna try and get some WD 40 in there um, to help loosen it all up. Probably recommend it to actually do this anyway prior to doing all of this. Um, do it because you can loosen it them all up. Um, I didn't do it, but I thought I'd be able to get away without waste, um, using anything. So that is basically the um, engine stand part connected up. So I've got it bolted up here. These are M12 bolts that I use. I've put washers on as well, just to kind of get a little bit more support um, when it's actually coming onto the engine stand part. Um, this one was actually really tight. So what I did was I left the um, stand off, just moved it out of the way, um, kept working this bolt in and out basically um, to clear up the threads that are inside. I think they were just really dirty in the far back end of it all. Um, just put some WD-40 in there and just kept working this in. Um, and what I also did was I switched these around. Um, basically when it came to putting this on, this one just here, it was just a little bit too close to everything. So I thought this side takes up a lot more space. So I'm just gonna switch it around the other way. And I just did it to the others as well um, because then it's, or one consistent way for me um, so that's basically everything all there now up next I'm going to be look at lifting the engine up and putting it onto the stand so people right now I've actually just come over to the BMW showroom um, to see if they can give me some prices for all the parts that I'm going to need for the M52 um, I thought you know what we'll find out the prices Ah, number plate left tail light failure. Hmm, something more to do to the car. 
Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd find out what the actual prices will be for all the parts that I need because might as well see what BMW's prices are um, and then take it from there. But I'm gonna go next door basically right now. Firstly, how beautiful is this? Like the color on it, oh my gosh. So I'd have to park my car next to it. I am dressed like an absolute scrub right now because I've just been at the charity today for Acorn's Hospice, but I have to come look at this. Ooh. Yeah, they actually have an Enzo here. So I've had more car stuff arrive. No, this is not a gun. This is base, even though it looks literally like as though it's gonna hold a gun in there and I'm surprised people just let it get posted like that. But it is basically the steering rack from a Z3. Um, so it's much quicker ratio and everything like that. So since I'm in the area, I've got that done. Here is my manual pedal box for the 30. Um, these are some other little car bits and things like that. This is actually boost controller for the R34, which I might look at fitting depending on how it goes with owning the car for the time being. And this, ah. let's open this one up. So can I do it with one hand? Oh yes. It's a book, as you can tell. Okay, this 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 bit. Damn it. Oh yes. So this is, this is so that I know a bit more about the car and everything. Um, I thought it'd be good to just have this book, know about all the specs, etc. Oh, so some reading material, a lot of research to do now. I've actually got another one of these books arriving, but with the E36 information. Um, so then I'll have all the specs and everything like that for everything I need to do with the engine. So that's going to be cool. Um, it wasn't really that expensive. Got it off eBay. Um, if there are any others for sale right now, I'll put a link below so you guys can also have a look into that. Still waiting to hear back from BMW about everything with all the other car parts that I've got on order. Obviously, this isn't everything. I've got a lot to do. Yeah, I got a lot to do with the engine still, so I don't think they're going to be anywhere near as cheap as I found a price with Euro Car Parts, who have a really good discount right now. Um, so I'm probably going to look at using them for everything because a lot of their parts and if not, they're really good brands. I'm going to list it all down more so in the video where I'm going to do detailing everything that I've done with the engine swap. Um, again, this is just a vlog version of it all, so, you know, it's a different style of videoing, uh, doing two videos at the same time. So everyone, excuse what's in the background right now, that foam is basically going to be used towards shaping up some of the 30 body work. Now, right now what I'm going to actually look at doing is lifting the engine up and putting it onto the engine stand. Um, you know, this is quite a complex thing right now, you know, with finding parts and everything like that. I haven't actually worked on the engine just yet. But I'm going to basically get this all lifted up, put it into here. This is also going to be edited and used for the video on how to do this whole swap. So, you know, this clip's going to get used twice. Savings, yeah. But right, let's lift up the engine with the engine crane so I can get it up over into there. This is a very nerve wracking to do it on your own. So I'm just going to make sure this is on there tight. And it's even more nerve wracking. When you have an R33 GTR right next to the engine and you got to make sure you don't smack into it. What I'm just trying to do right now is actually balance the engine out a little bit more. So the front is a little bit higher. I can't believe I have a floating engine right now. So it's still going to go higher. The thing is, I've got the back of it hooped up in there now. Literally, it's taking my time. 
Ah, oh, this is so much harder to do when you're on your own. Oh my gosh. Just gonna twist the block a little bit. And I think that's it, it's in there. It is now supported by the engine crane. I mean engine stand. Now I'm really nervous. So let me show you guys what it's like right now. So that's that bit. I thought I'd, I'd hammer it in from there just to make sure it's all in properly. See, it's kind of like grazed up against there, but this is the nervous bit right now because I got to make sure that the actual engine stand is supporting the engine and not just in my head. So what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to lower it all. Instead of using the handheld thing, I'm going to do it with some pliers. I think you can just control it a little bit better that way. And that's it. It's actually supported by the engine stand now. Woo! Oh my gosh. This is all loose. Which means the engine stand is holding it all up. Let's take these off. Now again, for a lot of you people that watch my videos, um, some of you probably have done such things before. Some of you might not have. So yeah, so I've never done anything like this before and I'm just, ah, oh, this is just surreal. I seriously can't believe that this is the stuff that I'm getting up to. All right. So that's the engine there now, looking all good, up on the stand. There's the engine stand over there. So it's a good moment now that I can start doing all the work to the engine. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the vlog where I am putting the engine up together. Um, yeah, I'm going to end this here right now because I've got loads more to do tonight, ordering loads more parts and everything like that, and then planning on how I'm going to tackle the rest of this. So make sure you guys subscribe. You know, you, you're going to see loads of updates. Hit the bell notification if you want to see the updates ASAP. Um, there's a few things still going on. The garage is still a mess. That car is going to be getting picked up soon. Going to be going to a car events and everything like that. There's, you know, there's so much going on right now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be getting a good few parts, um, especially from Euro Car Parts. There's a really good discount going on right now. So if you're watching this today and tomorrow, I believe is all that's left. They've got like 45 or 55 percent off. It's brilliant. I'm getting near enough all of my parts for this engine for close to half price. Um, so I'll show you guys all of that in the next video. But for now, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. See you next time.